Good day. These are my notes on how I build a village. It's not necessarily the best way. It's just my way. So there's four steps. I listed them here. The first is find a village. Um, I already found one, but here I'm, I, I didn't do anything with it. So here I'm, I'm driving up to it. <sighs> there's a boat already there. That's because I was already there. So the first step, when I find a village, if I'm going to do a thing, I build a tree, a tree line, is sort of in a rectangle around the outside of the village. Okay, so I count out maybe 14 blocks, 13 or 14 blocks from the, from the building that's like the farthest out in the rectangle. And I'm going to make a line of trees along that line. There's a line of trees. Uh, so once I've got the tree line all done with all the trees that I have, I put a fence line halfway in from that. So seven blocks out from six or seven blocks out from the building. Do, 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 do. I might have to mess around with dirt quite a bit to do this. So there's the fence, a nice line. Take away that dirt because I need it for this other spot. All the time I'm clearing, all the time I'm going around and picking up things. Okay, so the, with, there's a couple of tricky parts to the fence because you don't want villagers getting out or monsters getting in. So this here shape, you can walk around the edge of it and monsters can walk around the edge of it. So you have to build a, you, you have to build a, put a fence post on top of that so that they can't walk around. You can still jump. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. You can jump over that. Okay, so here you can, is a problem on this side. The monsters can walk around this side of the fence. The dirt is one square too far. So if you dig away that one square of dirt, it's because that's one square. Dig it away. Dig it away, guy. There we go. Steve's not doing. Steve's not working for me very well. There we go. Now I think I demonstrate jumping over it. Nope. Next one is the jump. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Boing. Yeah. So you can jump over those if you don't have a if you don't have your gates built yet. So you can get over them. Okay. So that's the second tricky bit. That's the third tricky bit over here. So again, this has to do with dirt beside a fence that's dropped a bit. Where you, where you drop it going along it with your fence and you go over or go down a step, but you still have dirt there. So you can walk over the fence from this side. Okay, so so the, the, the trick is you, you don't have the dirt beside the fence there. Now, you can still walk around this. The monster still can because the dirt still comes up to the edge of the fence. So you have to dig away. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Monsters can get over there. So you have to dig away that, put a fence. Anytime. Uh, okay. So here's the lights. Uh, I've got a, every five, I have a grid of, of lights, every five squares. Uh, I used for the fencing along the fence, sorry, for the gates along the fence, I used um, dark wood. And here I'm just showing how I put lights on the buildings so they're all lit up at night. Sorry, there's buildings with uh, that are just made of like uh, stairs as roof. So you can't put a candle on them. And so uh, I put a block of dirt down. So it was on a block of dirt. Put a candle on it. We're laughing. Okay, and you see all over the, the bill, all over the, 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 the grass there, you see the five by five uh, matrix of the candles. So the first thing when I build a bunker, I have to pick a good spot for the bunker. Now there's a big open space there, but I didn't build it there. So I built it here. Um, I have to build a big gateway so I can pull golems out of the 
out of the dungeon, sorry, out of the tunnel. In the tunnel, there's the frame of the door, and then it's going to go down maybe five or six blocks, and the, the, the um, bunker's going to be down off of that tunnel. So now I'm going to dig out that tunnel, and uh, I'm going to go, I'm just going to show all the digging parts here, take a couple of minutes. Mm, the reason that you have to have room for golems is because they spawn where the villagers are. And I like to drag the golems out so to, to, to store them somewhere else in the village so that new golems will keep spawning and I can just have more and more golems. So I'm just digging out the dirt so I can have a nice flat surface, like a wall of dirt to uh, to start my doorway for the for the uh, bunker tunnel. I typically play on survival, so my sword and arrow and bow are, are on my bar all the time. So it's three high, so I can move a golem out. That's the top of my window, top of my door frame. That's, that's how clumsy I am. I'm just measuring. I want to have like a couple of blocks before I start the stairway down. All right, so this, now I've built the doorway for the bunker tunnel. So now I'm going to build the, the, the stairway down here. I finished, I skipped over a bit. I finished the tunnel down. So here's where I'm going to build the first bunker off to one side. So bunker is like three high, five, five wide, and it's going to go 20 deep. It's going to be a, a deep rectangle here going a little bit at a time. I put candles every five, uh, every five blocks, just so uh, it helps me measure the depth that I want to go 20. So here I'm looking in the finished article. It's a, it's a box shape, 20 deep, five wide, three high, beds down one side. Uh, I'll put the rest of the beds on down the left. And there I've got all of the, uh, the, the job boxes for the, for the villagers when I move them in. So now, I'm scavenging the village. I'm, I'm taking from every hut, I'm taking the beds and the chests and the, the, the job boxes, the job tool thingies, whatever this is, cartographer's table. So I'm leaving all the, the doors and that stuff. I don't need that. Oh, I'm going to take a bell. My village has two bells. So I, I, I'm, if it only had one bell, I would leave it till the last. Those villages are, the, oh, there's a bell on the left side there. So now I'm going to capture the villagers. You can see I made a row of beds from the bell, off, and then my, my bunker is off to the right here. Okay, so the villagers, they, they have to settle in some bed. I've moved all the beds to the middle here. This is my trick for capturing villagers. Oh, I didn't put enough candles here. And all the villagers have settled in their beds. So now I'm going to dig the beds up and then put them down again closer to the to the bunker. And the villagers are going to move to the beds that are close closer to the bunker. Do, do, do. So I've got three beds now. So I'm going to put them all. Just going to put them closer, so we move them a little bit at a time. I, I think it helps them find their way. They may be able to go all the way from here to the beds in the bunker, but I think it helps them find their way if there's a bed closer.
So I know I'm putting beds on the stairs, so they're I'm just sort of leading them on the way. Yeah, you see them all going there. So uh, I don't know if you noticed at the uh, at the bunker tunnel entrance, I put um. I put the, the the foot plate off to the side so it it's it, it doesn't activate the gate but it's 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 near it so that uh, I, I don't have to carry it around okay at this point the, the villagers are finding the beds within the bunker so they're going into the bunker tunnel they're going all the way, go on, go down, and now they're they're finding their way to those beds. So now I can pop all the beds up that are outside. And they'll all make it. They'll all find their way. Oh, someone's worried about lights. I can pop them all up now because the as soon as one of them found their way, the furthest away, I know the ones that are closer will will find their way. Yeah, uh, don't left click a villager. They will uh, they'll dislike you more, and if they dislike you enough, they won't trade with you, and the golems will hit you. So careful not to left click a villager. You can right click them to trade with them. Don't left click of golem either. They don't they'll they'll, they'll kill you. Do, do, do. So all the villagers are in. There's none left. They're all gone. Everything's inside. So now they're all captured. <laughs> all captured. Okay. Um so everything and it did I list everything and the so the beds, the tool chests, the job chests, and then um the bell. You have to have those three things in the bunker. So just as I was talking, some of the villagers picked their picked their job based on the job thingy they found. Okay, so after you've got the bunkers built, now you can actually do the work to do with the village. So you need wheat, you need lots of wheat for trading and for giving the villagers to, to grow them. And it's always good to have sheep around because you need to make extra beds. The village doesn't come with quite enough beds. So here I, I took my stack of bread, I divided it into quarters and I'm just throwing a bit of bread hither and thither. I usually divide it into four. That seems to work out nicely. Now you're going to see the villagers, some of them are going to stare as they get some hearts, and you're going to see a little villager appear somewhere. There's one. And that's how you breed them. Um, as long as you have a more beds than villagers set down on the ground, they'll, they'll breed. You also have to have a bell. Okay, so villager trading, if you right click a villager, he'll come up based on what he is. He'll come up with a thing of what you can trade. So I could trade that guy for uh, wheat. The wandering trader, you can right click him and trade, but you can also kill the llamas and for the, you need for the, the ropes, the leads. And what I do with the leads, I'm gonna go right click a, a lead on a, on a golem. I'm gonna drag him into my Golem storage unit, my stable, my golem stable. Right click on again. So now have a look. I can score maybe six or eight golems on each side of that. And you can build an infinite number of those. Okay, after golem stable. So let's say you've got a village you don't want. Let's say he's a, one of the green ones. They're kind of useless. And so you want to free up the bed space to, for more villagers. Well, you can put them in a cart, push the cart around, and it if you just kill them, that's no good because the golems will get you. But you can put them outside your fence in the dark and then sooner or later he'll get killed by the bad guys, by the, some monster. Um, zombies will get him. 
So I've got a, a rail cart out to the edge of my thing. I will put lights up so you can see it, but the lights, you have to take the lights all down or it won't be dark. Okay, so here I took all the lights away. He's out of the mine cart now and he's on the wrong side. He's on the dark side, outside of the fence so he can't get back to his buddies. Sooner or later he'll get eaten by a zombie. Perfect. Perfect. That's all I've got.